imagine this scenario for a while. You buy the latest graphics card available on the market and you install it on your PC and excitingly run your favorite game. Of course, having the horsepower to play at maximum settings, you immediately click options and proceed to tweak your video settings. Notch all the sliders to the highest possible settings, turn all the features on and you notice this option to turn on VSync. You ask yourself, other than capping my frame rates, what does this actually do? Well, stay tuned to find out more. Well, to start this off, let me first explain to you what would happen without VSync. You will get to run games at higher frame rates, but due to that, you will get to experience screen tearing. Screen tearing happens when your GPU is giving out more frames than the refresh rate of your monitor. For example, I have a GPU running at 120 frames per second, but my monitor's refresh rate is only 60 hertz, meaning it can only run at a maximum of 60 frames per second. So the graphics card and monitor won't be able to agree with each other, thus causing screen tearing as you can see in the picture. This problem can be solved by turning on VSync, but there are still some disadvantages. Basically, what VSync will do is to tell our graphics card, Hey man, I don't have that much display capability, so can you please set the frames equal to my refresh rate? So instead of rendering 120 frames per second, your GPU will now render at a maximum of 60 frames per second or equal to the refresh rate of your monitor. The only downside to this one is that some games are very demanding to run at a consistent 60 frames per second. If your GPU fails to run at this point, your monitor will have to wait on your GPU to feed it more frames, thus causing stuttering or lag. If you have VSync on and let's say you're exploring the open world and your GPU fails to keep up, something like this would happen. Of course, this example is kinda unrealistic because CSGO is really easy to run. It's so easy to achieve this game at a consistent 60 frames per second, but you get the point. Though there is G-Sync from NVIDIA and FreeSync from AMD to solve this issue, that is for another video. So that's it for this one. I hope you like this video. Leave a like if you do. Leave a thumbs down if you didn't. And comment down below if there is still some confusion and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.